Okay, guys. Uh, what we are going to uh, continue on with what we are going to look is expanding our trig beyond right triangles because the sine cosine, those ratios are going to look at today. You did see in algebra two uh, is our law of sines and cosines. And uh, laws relate uh, the three sides of any triangle. So this does not necessarily have to be a right triangle, which is nice because we haven't really uh, had any good ways of finding this of non-right triangles. So let's start with the law of cosines. I am going to go through um, a little bit of a proof for this. Um, I'm going to go a little, little bit quickly, but like I've told you guys before, um, you know, a lot of times in math, you guys have just been told this is true and just believe it because I'm the teacher. Um, that they should come from somewhere. So what we have here is triangle ABC, and is the notice uh, from geometry class an angle to the opposite side, opposite side at a right angle. Essentially, what we've done is. Uh, triangle ABC into two right triangles. So this is based on right triangle trig and what we know about that, but side, Pythagorean theorem, these three sides. There's the hypotenuse, that's opposite right angle. Say that H plus this X squared equals C squared, just Pythagorean theorem, okay? I'm gonna um, use my shortcut to multiply that out. That multiplies this fuse where I go into those. And then equals C. Now I'm going to do a on from right a statement using Pythagorean theorem. Uh, so that would be x squared plus h squared equals a squared where A is the hypotenuse of that triangle on the left. So A squared plus, and if you look at the equation that I have up here, I have and an X to do is this. So what I'm going to do is replace the H squared plus X squared with A squared. I'm going to rewrite that uh, equation. So I'll kind of come down here. And this turns into A squared, because again, it's replacing those two plus b squared triangle trig. I'm going to know the cosine. I'm just using my regular old cosine. Cosine of c is equal side over the hypotenuse. So that would be x over a. And if I solve for x, x has to be equal to the a times cosine of c. So what I'm going to do, Ladies and gentlemen, that is science. Uh, I'm actually not, but um, you know, if you end up getting into some advanced uh, college math, you might be asked to prove that. Um, it's really just Pythagorean theorem, cosine, and some substitution is really all it is. And angle, which is side C. Remember from Algebra 2 that there are th the law of cosine. You can really make any side of your triangle A, B, and C as long as you pay attention to the fact that side C has to be opposite angle C. So you just have to have those two in the correct places and then you're used to B squared C. And then related formulas in the other Okay. All right, so let's look at an example using our law of cosines. All right, a person, I should say person. Person leaves her home and walks. That's not really the point of this question. I walked eight miles. That's how far from home is she? So here's home is where she is. So essentially what we're looking for is the length of that segment from home to the destination. So it's marked with that X. So um, like I said, you can make any angle. X and angle C are the two that are across from each other. So if I'm looking for the angle that's 135 is 
angle C. So, so I'm going to say F, that's essentially my C is equal to 5 squared, just following this formula, plus 3 squared, minus 2, times 5, times 3, times the cosine of 135 degrees. So what mode should minus 34. Start calculating the your calculator. So what I would do is I would do 34 minus uh, and then in parentheses I would probably do 30. Oh, I better check my mode. Okay, good. Uh, to take the square root of it, hit square root and then minus sign down at the bottom, you might answer. So if you hit second minus, stick your last answer in there so you don't have, so we're getting 7.431 miles. All right. Um, I'm actually going to skip this question and keep this video too lengthy. Um, all right, so let's look at what's a little bit simpler to have before, and it's just looking at sine ratios for angles. Sine ratio for angles, that's the opposite over the hypotenuse. If we do the sine of angle A, again, that's the opposite hypotenuse. What I'm going to do now is solve both of these equal H and equal to each other. I divide A and both sides by C. I end up over C, A over A. You can do a similar argument for angle B and that's what gives us all three ratios that work. So for any triangle, then sine over side A is equal to sine of angle B over side B, which is equal to sine of angle C. Hopefully that's familiar from algebra two. Okay, so let's look into our law of sines. Um, okay, an aerial tram, a point one half mile from the base of a mountain, uh, who's fable from T. So notice we're looking for, again, that longest side like we were um, in the last example, but we're getting amounts of different chain. Using law of sines, if you know an angle measure and the length of the side opposite that angle, use law of sines. Because that ratio will set up your proportion before. So and then we're just going to cross multiply. Divide both sides by sine. And then again, let our calculator do the work. Still should have our calculators in uh, degree mode. So I'm going to do, I'm going to multiply that by zero point. The sine is unreal and close that up. The length of C is 0 0.674. Uh, you did algebra 2, just because we were kind of doing a strig last year in algebra 2, is what we call the ambiguous case of law of sines. Uh, the one drawback using law of sines for finding angles is that these problems, angles between 0 and 80 with the same view. So for example, an angle is one, could be that angle degrees or 150 degrees, if you think about it, circle. Both 30 degrees and 150 degrees have a sine of one half. So what you might have to do, and this is only true <laughs> as move triangles can grow, and it's for this reason that that doesn't work, because there's actually two triangles side side bin. So if you look at this example, Notice I'm given, so what we're going to do here is look at finding um, that angle theta, but we're also going to find the other angle that could work, okay? Cross multiply, eight times the sine of 40 times the sine of theta, divide both sides by that in your calculator. So sine of 40 divided by seven, is that value 0 0.7346 but I'm looking for the angle so you need to take the inverse sine of that number again on your calculator if you hit inverse sine 7346 so I'll find the other angle by taking 727 so the other anchor is 1.73 okay